Hi guys, Ali here and introducing a prompt pattern that would really help you with content generation and generative AI tasks. And that would be the outline expander pattern. When we talk about content generation, we are usually talking about stories, movies, or TV series plots, articles, books, research papers, and whatnot. Sometimes we just open up our favorite editing software and start typing. But most people take a more formal approach, like think through the entire content from start to finish. Note I'm going to use the word content to mean all the examples of content I mentioned earlier. More often than not, such content has a predefined structure or pattern to it. Like most stories would start out by introducing the environment or setting, followed by introducing the characters, then a problem, then the struggle, followed by climax. If it's a TV series, it would break down these steps into multiple episodes or seasons, where initial ones would introduce the characters, and then following episodes would introduce a problem and struggle where each episode can be fully independent, or sometimes a global theme or super story flows from starting season or episode to the end, with the filler episodes primarily being semi-independent of overall plot, but nudging the overall theme forward. I just took a story or season example, but take any kind of content and it helps to define an overall theme or structure for the overall content, sort of define an outline, and then fill each of the parts individually with content. By outline, I mean a sort of hierarchy. If you have used Microsoft Word, for instance, it allows you to generate a table by using heading types as hierarchy. Your HTML document has H1, H2 headings to let you break down the content into a hierarchy. You can generate an outline for almost any content of any type. And if that is true for most content, the converse should also be true that you should be able to generate any content starting with a hierarchy or outline. This lets you be in total control of flow of content from start to finish and gives your reader a much more engaging experience right until the end. Anyone who enjoys watching TV series must have had a rub with horrible and distasteful endings, primarily because the authors never imagined their series to run for the number of seasons it did or the scale of series being canceled being on their mind. So the final seasons or episodes are aired much after the expiry of the original outline. I just want to highlight how important original outline of any content is before jumping to our pattern. So right on cue, let's introduce the outline expander pattern. We already covered the main idea, so no surprises there. To generate any content, we start by picking up a topic and then generate a breakdown of the topic into headings or bullet points, like coming up with a title of a book followed by names for each chapter in the book. We can continue expanding further, but let's just stop ourselves here for a second. The concept of this pattern is to give you tools to write content by focusing on one part of the outline at any given time. You start with topic, then you concentrate on generating subheadings or constituent parts for their specific topic. Then you pick one specific subtopic and repeat the whole thing or generate the contents of that subtopic. It's kind of like growing a tree, where on each decision point, you decide whether to grow a branch or a leaf and go no further. The interesting bit is that you are spared most of this effort by large language models like ChatGPT, as they are able to generate subtopics for almost any topic you provide them, until of course you are working on something really new. They can even generate subtopics for each bullet point and content for these for you. To use this pattern, you need to use a prompt like below and note how multiple prompt patterns are used here to make up the prompt below. Act as an outline expander. Generate a bullet point outline based on the input that I give you, and then ask me for which bullet point you should expand on. Create a new outline for the bullet point that I select. At the end, ask me for which bullet point to expand next. Ask me for what to outline. This is it. We used Persona Pattern to tell ChatGPT that it is an outline expander which configures it to work with outlines where possible and it would neatly and implicitly try to use outlines from now on. Then we ask it to generate a bullet point outline based on the topic that you provide. Say our solar system and it should neatly come up with 8 or 9 bullet points numbered 1 to 9. Note that it was a closed and predictable example topic but for other topics, say animals found in XYZ country, the list could be potentially endless if not categorized correctly. So you should be able to intervene with explicit instructions like each bullet can have at most three to five sub bullets. This is followed by instruction to ask you which bullet point to expand. 
This is meant to stop the model from being over efficient and start generating content for the first item. You need to be in total control of what it does. Next, you instruct it to create a new outline for the bullet point that you select. Now you can specify the bullet point by number and then it is smart enough to generate sub bullets in the format 1.3 or 3.5 to make it easier for you to specify which bullet point anywhere in the outline you are referring to. Note you are not constrained to use the numbering system ChatGPT starts using. In the initial prompt, you can introduce instructions to use a particular numbering system, like the bullet should be numbered using the pattern, followed by the pattern like Roman numbers, alphabets, etc. Next, you tell it to generate outline for the bullet point that you select, and in the end, asking which bullet points to generate content for. Now, in this example prompt, you are defining the entire outline before you would start to generate content. So it would expect you to keep prompting you with which bullet point to expand next until you respond with generate content or write text for bullet 1.3.2. Note you can add a further instruction to the prompt to be able to generate content for any bullet point in the outline easily. You can add an instruction like, whenever I type write bullet point paragraphs, you will write content for the selected bullet point, bullet point by writing n paragraphs or number of paragraphs of text. If, however, I just type bullet point, you will expand the bullet point. Note the bullet point placeholder is referring to the bullet point number like 3.1.2 or something, while paragraphs is the count of paragraphs to generate. Again, this is a guideline, and you can add further instructions like format like above to add further instructions to the model to configure the model as per your desire. It's technique like these which can be used to configure the model in a host of situations, not specific to our outline expander pattern. The entire purpose of our prompt patterns and prompt engineering series is to equip you with tools to configure large language models in the most creative ways possible. You should consider these techniques as examples to use in your unique situations, which we obviously can't even begin to cover. Important point is, you should strive to never write a prompt the novice way again once you have learned patterns like this one. Coming back to the outline expander pattern, note though that this list of topics or subtopics it generates might not be what you expected, and you might need to instruct it to modify it according to your expectations iteratively. You can do this by asking it to add further topics you provide to bullet 3.2 or instruct it to classify the list of topics differently. Like for the animals examples I used, you can instruct it to classify them using biological families or something. Similarly, for the planets example, you can instruct it to add number of moons to your subtopics list for each planet. Another issue to keep in mind is that there is a memory limit of large language models, and after sufficient content generation, if you ask it to create outline for say 1.2 after working on 1.x for a while, it might have forgotten about it. Faced with such a rare situation, you still have an option. First off, you can watch the memory and context related videos on our channel to be aware of what I mean by memory limits of large language models. Secondly, you need to handle it just like talking with a human. You need to remind the model about the context. So if you were copy pasting the outline to a, say a word editor, paste the relevant list of topics back to the model via prompt. And to be able to do that, keep the outline separate from content in your editor. Once reminded, with the relevant section of the outline, the model would start following the instructions like before. Few minor potential issues aside, isn't this pattern cool? You are in full control of your content generation and can copy paste generated content into your favorite word editor after you have table of content defined first. Starting with a satellite view to bird's eye view to immersive experience. Systematic, coherent, and control flow of content achieved with such a simple prompt. Level up your expectations, as once this video goes viral, bad content would be a thing of the past. I should better get out of my overly optimistic daydream and let you off to focus on writing amazing content using Outline Expander Pattern. If you like the video, please like and share, and consider subscribing to the channel. Feel free to suggest topics to cover, and I'll try my best to generate one for you. Thank you, and goodbye.